I had a major breakthrough in the last two weeks, and it wasn't the brick wall that I ran through. That was three weeks ago. You see, something that I've been struggling with for probably about six months now has seemingly dissipated overnight. I'm not even exaggerating. This thing had its deathly grip around my throat for six months straight, and I tried one little sip of Granny's Midnight Potion and it all went away immediately. I've been on this creator business journey for about a year now, and it's actually been quite the up and down ride. First, I quit my job and was making about as much money as a freshly birthed mole rat. Then next, I, in my perfectly right mind, I spent $8,000 on a coach that wooed me by saying, this is the way. Which wildly enough, apparently this was the way because I went on to make about 50K in three months. And I'm pretty sure that Elon pottied his pants when he saw me clawing my way up to the top of the mountain for the throne. Life was great back then, buying exotic cars and mansions like everyone else with 40k to their name. But it didn't last. Unfortunately, I realized a hard truth that I had to face, and that was that I didn't actually know how to get results with video. So that's when I met Ryan. Ryan came riding into my life like a knight in shining armor atop his steed. At least that's how I remember. One day I was talking to Ryan and I said, hey man, do you want to know how to actually go viral? Do you want to study content, figure it out? And he said, yes. Those magical words. Three letters. Spoiler alert, Ryan's Instagram account became the next SpaceX project, and we absolutely rocketed his account to pass 50k in under two months. It still hasn't come back to Earth yet. We just passed 70k. But old Elon, he was not convinced. So we ended up shooting another homie up to 50k in under two months just to make sure it wasn't a fluke. So what's actually wrong with me then? I have said a lot of things on this video so far, but I've never actually said what I was struggling with for six months. Well, folks, the culprit was stress. Stress had me gripped so tightly. I never thought I would ever see the light of day again. Even if I did quit my job, make a bunch of money in a short amount of time, become Tony Stark and learn a bunch of valuable skills, it still came with a taxing price. A price so big not even my $40,000 could buy it. You see, what happens is when you quit your job, you actually don't have any income coming in and you gotta figure it all out by yourself. If you haven't figured it out already, that's pretty gosh dang stressful considering you have to fork over your mortgage so you don't lose everything in life that you've worked for up until this point. So the biggest stress for for me came not the first time but the second time that I completely cut off my income entirely by stopping taking video clients on. I honestly felt like I was trying to play a volleyball tournament without any arms. Was it worth it? Absolutely. We may have still lost the tourney, but it was a good shot. But in my most desperate hour of need, that's when Ryan came galloping in on his steed. No, I'm actually kidding. What really happened was two things. First, I found the absolute love of my life, the most beautiful thing that ever have touched down on this planet of Earth. It's the ocean, of course, seriously. There's no way you thought that I actually found love in my old age. It's too late for me, so. I started cold plunging in the ocean every single day, and that kept the stress at bay. Gosh dang, that was a horrendous rhyme and a horrible pun all in one. And I did it again. I better stop. Second thing was I knew that I needed to find a way to be happy without money. If I tied money to happiness, I knew I would never have any control or freedom in my life. I had to man up and accept my situation with everything in it like a true stoic, realizing there's nothing I could do to change the past, only the present moment. The ultimate goal was to find a baseline of health and happiness in my life without money and then at that point I would be able to move forward. So naturally the only solution in sight was to take on the absolute enemy, something that I've actually genuinely disagreed with for the longest time, but I was at the end of my ropes and I was willing to try anything. I'm actually not even kidding, I, I literally started writing about accepting massive abundance into my life. And now I know what you're thinking, you're probably thinking, hey this guy's a complete off his rocker goofy goober and you would be absolutely correct. But hear me out. I started writing and accepting this abundance mindset into my life and I'm not even kidding. It was like this literal mental block that I've been struggling with for six straight months just finally got removed after me taking one sip from Ganny's Midnight Potion. And I'm not even kidding, the dominoes just started to fall and everything just seemed to click in place. I started making money almost 
instantly. I even made some connections with people who were able to pull me out of the absolute muck and mire that was my business at that time. Now I know this all seems more wacky than that goofy carnival game, but I'm not even kidding. There's just no way that this could possibly be a coincidence. I start writing about accepting the abundance and things into my life and then it'll virtually instantaneous things just start to happen and so the best part about all of this is i'm freaking happy dude like like legitimately i'm actually happy I've, i feel like i'm more happy now than i've been for as long as i could possibly remember and nothing drastic has even changed in my life i've literally found that baseline of happiness that i was talking about and now I feel like I can move forward. And not only will I have money moving forward, but I'll also have happiness. And to me, that's that's the more important thing. And so as much as I may have been a little roughed up in the seas of ungravely unforgivingness, uh, I think that this is like probably the best thing that's that's happened to me in a while. Now to wrap this baby up and make it more wholesome than a slice of your mom's homemade blueberry pie, I just wanna say, actually try cold plunging it will le legitimately change your life it's one of the best things that ever happened to me and I, I couldn't imagine life without it and of course more than anything please try giving writing and accepting massive abundance into your life a rip let it rip like you did on the freaking fourth of july it's worth it all right that's pretty much it